Hello everybody, we are back here on the Hunter Call of the Wild and today I decided that we would head out to Yukon in multiplayer because we don't hunt this map that often and it's definitely one of the maps that I know the least about. Um, I definitely don't know as much about this map as I do about Silver Ridge Peaks or Tiawaroa or any of the maps that we play all the time. There's a few maps that I really don't visit too often and Yukon is one of them. I used to play it quite a bit when it first came out but then after a while I just kind of lost interest in it because there's not a lot of species here that I truly enjoy hunting. I think if they added Dull Sheep and Sitka Deer to this map, I'd probably play it a lot more than I do now. So here's to hoping that one of these days they'll add those. But anyway, I think what we're going to do today is hunt multiplayer with the muzzleloader because I think that could be quite a bit of fun and we can cover most classes of animals with the muzzleloader. Obviously I also have stuff like the 300 magnum and 22 with me for the species that the muzzleloader can't take but we're gonna try and use the muzzleloader as much as we can. So I actually had a pretty big scare about 20 minutes ago. By the time this video goes up this will have been a few days in the past but I was taking some screenshots for a thumbnail and our power went out for like two seconds. I heard an explosion outside. I'm pretty sure it was either a transformer or some type of fuse blowing and it just cut the power off for a couple seconds and then it came back and it was off just long enough to cause my PC to shut off while I was loaded into Call of the Wild and when I tried to load back into the game it said that I had a corrupted save file. So, I tried to replace it with my backup save because I do backup my files very consistently to kind of avoid problems like this, but the problem was I hadn't updated my save file in probably a couple months. The last time that I had actually updated the backup folder was when I got my second great one and I hadn't really touched it since then. So. I wasn't exactly sure like how much progress was going to be lost and uh, thankfully I was actually able to get the main save working again. Uh, I don't know how this ended up working but what I did basically was I put my backup save in place of my normal save, loaded up the game, and then swapped back to my corrupted save file and for some reason it was able to repair it that time so I don't know what caused it to go from not being able to be repaired to being able to be repaired just by moving the folder in and out of the save game directory. It was very strange, but I'm just happy to have my game back to normal. I was so scared I was going to lose all my progress and be set back almost an entire two months and that would have been incredibly disappointing and to be honest I probably wouldn't have played Call of the Wild for a while if that had happened because it would have deleted stuff like our melanistic pheasant and that is an incredibly rare trophy that I am incredibly fond of so from now on I'm gonna be backing up my saves a lot more often and I highly encourage anybody else out there to consistently back up their save files and if you don't know how to do that I believe there's a couple different guides out there that you guys could use to check that out and in fact I might even make a video myself talking about how to back up your save folders uh, it sounds like we might have a little bit of company but I can't exactly see where they are I definitely hear them, but I don't see where they are. That's not good. Oh, there they are. So there is a bunch of wolves coming up here. This could be really bad since we have a muzzle loader, but honestly, this could be quite a bit of fun as well. Let's just uh, drop that one if we can real quickly. Just a female, but let's try to get out of this area just a little bit so we don't get immediately smoked. I don't know how many of these we're actually going to be able to kill before they run off because of how slow the reload is, but uh, this is not going to go good. I can already tell. Oh, we need to heal as fast as we can. Let's see if we can get this mythical at least. That is the level 6, and that is a dead level 6. Oh, we are so dead. We are so dead, there's no way we make it out of this. I probably should have brought more than one muzzle loader, but I mean, I guess this just makes it interesting. Okay, they're finally starting to leave. Oh my gosh, that was way too close. I should have died at least twice there. Let's see if we can maybe get one as they're running off. The uh, reload time is really rough on this thing, which is to be expected with it being a muzzle loader, but 
We can just get that mythical, that'd be amazing, but I don't even know where he went to be honest. So I guess we're just gonna have to settle for two. At least we got a couple of them though. And our first one was a skull and spine shot and lower neck even, wow. We hit pretty much everything and the brain, I think. Yeah, wow, that was quite the shot, honestly. And here is that level six that we shot. This one was a vital hit, thankfully. We got thoracic vertebrae and right lung on this guy. One thing that I've always loved about the muzzleloader is this thing has incredible penetration. Like, it is honestly insane how far it can penetrate into pretty much anything. Uh, that definitely sounds like there's a wolf near and yeah, there definitely is. Um, I guess we will try to take her out if we can. And was not a great shot, but she should die because of how powerful the muzzleloader is. And looks like we even have more running along here now. Oh. I definitely hear an aggressive one now. Level 6, level 4, level 7, and a red-brown female. We will take her first, obviously, and then hopefully run out of the way so we don't die immediately. Oh gosh, here we go. I didn't get to spot one of them, so I'm hoping that it's going to be like a level 9 or something. That would be pretty nice. We're definitely going to have to pick up another muzzleloader, at least one more, once we get to an outpost again. Yeah, it looks like the seven is the best, so let's get that guy down. And then just jump into the water here. Please don't kill me. <laughs> I just want to reload my muzzle loader, man. Oh, this is not how I expected this to be going. Oh, well, that was interesting. All right, I think we're good. I don't think we're gonna get any more shots on these guys, but we did get a couple of them down at least, and one of them was a red-brown. But let's go ahead and grab this guy first. This was the seven, 37.70 on the score. Not bad at all. I'd say that's pretty decent. And here is that little red-brown female. I always love getting these things. They're probably my favorite of the fur types, The at least when it comes to the uncommons. I do think the red-brown is one of the nicest looking. Obviously, albino and mellow are better, but they are just so beautiful. I'd love to eventually get a diamond of the red-brown. Unfortunately, we hit this last one very poorly, so it ran a very long distance, as you guys can see. It uh, was not going to make it easy on us, and yeah, unfortunately, we were just a little bit too far forward. Uh, this is actually the one that we shot at as it was running down the shoreline. So this isn't even from that group. I honestly don't know where the third one from that group even went. I know we shot another one, but I wasn't able to find it. Very odd. Oh well, I guess we'll just move on and try to find some more. Well, we moved to a different server and that is the first wolf that we have seen. It's a nice level 7, about 200 meters out. I don't think there's any more with it. It seems to be the only one, so I'm guessing somebody else killed the rest of the pack. But I did manage to fit a second muzzleloader into our loadout after I got rid of a couple items. So we can go ahead and use two muzzleloaders on these things now, which is going to be absolutely huge. And I'm actually kind of surprised that missed. What just happened there? That was 200, right? I, I could have swore it said 200. Yeah, 208. I mean, that should have hit, but I guess not. Uh, but thankfully, there actually is another one. I don't know where she was when we first shot the other one, but there's the second one, I guess. And after a bit of tracking, we did finally find her. Now we can take a look at where we ended up hitting her, and it was thoracic vertebrae. So we were a bit high, unfortunately, but at least we got her down. Hopefully we can find a few more here, because this actually is a pretty low-level host at level 14. There definitely could be some cool trophies on here if we look hard enough. Okay, so I have been tracking what I assume is uh, whatever's in front of us for quite a while. And I don't think it's a very big one, but I've been following the track of an egg white wolf, and I'm pretty sure that's what just called. It's the only thing that I can think of, because this is the exact direction that they were going in, and the tracks were relatively fresh, so 
I would imagine that's what we got in front of us right now. Now, the trick here is going to be getting close enough to actually see it without them spooking off. Oh yeah, I just saw it. There it is. There's our egg white wolf. It's actually a level 7. Uh, to be honest, I thought it was a level 6 or below, but that is a 7, so that's pretty cool. Let's uh, go ahead and get a distance on it. Oh wow, 54 meters. That's uh, way closer than I thought it was. Let's uh, 0 to 100 real quickly and see if we can get a shot on it. I don't know how this is actually going to go. Especially since our dog is just wanting to get in front of us constantly. But uh, we'll see what we can do here. You know, I think if we move around a little bit, we can actually get his attention and get him to stand up. Because right now that's all that's holding me back is the fact that he is down. And I think that should be good. They were about to flee, so I'm glad we were able to get the shot off before they did. Now the question is, can we get one of these? I think we can. And yeah, that'll do the trick. That thing is not going anywhere. And he did not run far at all. Always love getting these egg white wolves. They look so good. And this one's even a gold, so even better. So far, that is the best trophy that we have got today. So definitely cannot complain. And this other one was just a female, so it's not really anything too special. But we did get a perfect double lung from 125 meters on the run. So not too bad. I'll take that too. Okay, so I just stumbled across another resting zone for some wolves and there actually is a red brown in this little group and it just happens to be a level 7. I believe that is the biggest one there, so let's see if we can get that down as it's running away. I think that should be a good shot. Almost positive that was vitals. Although they are not rares, it is pretty cool to get an egg white level 7 and a red brown level 7 back to back. Because both of these fur types look absolutely amazing. I really want to get a diamond with either of these. I think that would be really cool. It's definitely a future goal, but I really don't hunt these guys enough to make any progress towards that goal. So maybe sometime soon we should start doing a little bit more wolf hunting and see if we can come out with something good. Well, we've got ourselves some more wolves out at about 150 meters. There's a level 7 in the back right there, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to thread the needle in there. I think when this one moves its head a little bit further right, we'll actually be able to do that, but it's such a short window of opportunity that I don't know if we'll be able to actually make it. But we'll definitely try. And I think we got it. To be honest, I have no idea. Um, we definitely did not hit the 7, I can tell you that. So that's unfortunate, because that's what we were aiming for, but... He's just sitting there, so we were able to get him anyway. Well, there is that level 7. It looks like we did only hit it one time, so the first shot completely missed. I wonder what we ended up hitting. To be honest, I don't really know, but I'm guessing it was probably the 6 that was next to it. We probably shot it in the nose or something like that. So we found some more wolves and there's another level 7 in this group so we will target him if we can. Should be a pretty easy shot to make. And yeah, that guy absolutely flew after we took that shot. You know, I was really hoping to get some more of these guys to attack but so far we have not had very good luck on that. But we have been getting quite a few level 7s down so that's at least good. I'm gonna try and get at least one more pack to attack because I want to try no scoping some of them but I uh, don't know how well that's gonna go. I guess we'll see. Well there is another level 7 wolf. Let's go ahead and smoke that guy if we can. I think that will do the trick and then there's one other but looks like all of these are just females so we got the only good size male. And honestly, we have been hunting for quite a while now and not really seen much above level 7. We saw that one level 8, but sadly could not get it. So I think we're probably just going to go ahead and end the video here. I mean, we've took out a lot of wolves and I've been hunting for over an hour and 20 minutes now. And we've just not been able to find anything too notable. But we definitely put these muzzle loaders to the test on these wolves and got a lot of them down. And that was the main purpose of this video. So... 
I guess let me know what you guys thought about this video if you guys have any more suggestions for cool videos that we could do with uh, different weapons or different species let me know down below and if I like it I'll put it into a video but with that being said thank you all for watching if you're brand new to the channel be sure to subscribe click the like button and ring that notification bell so you guys will never miss another video uh, also be sure to leave a comment down below like I was saying and I'll try to respond to as many of them as I can but with that being said thank you guys for watching and I will see you all in the next video. Peace!